Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Shadow of War. Now, when we left off, we actually had a couple of skill points and I didn't spend them. So it's probably about time that we upgrade our poison tendrils and poison some grog barrels and so on and so forth. I actually think that this is the most fun. I think that is the most fun option. So we're probably going to be taking that. I mean, I could take this, but why, w why would I want to, tr you know, why would I want them to trigger when an enemy is really close by instead of me just doing it myself? So I'm going to take the Contagion there and Deadly Spectre. I've never used this. Actually, not once. So, hmm. I, I really don't know. I, I, I guess uh, drain its target. Does that mean it's going to become our servant? Yeah, it looks like that's the case. All right, fine, let's just do that. As I said, I'm going to be going in sort of a methodical fashion now because I don't really have any preferences from here, with the exception of maybe... Ah, we're level 30 now, so I can summon a Graug. Let's do that. Oh yes, that's what I like to see. All right, so now maybe we should upgrade our Graug a little bit now that we have that. I mean, I could go for something else like, you know, Mighty Shot or maybe increase Freeze Pin. But again, Freeze Pin is uh, it's not really it's not really great, you know. You don't really need it that badly. Right. Okay, so yeah, I guess Upgrading my Graug is a good idea. There's nothing else down here that I really want. I mean, Elven Rage, when that ends, doing things. Yeah, that's all great. This is kind of cool. This is actually kind of cool. I have one skill point, obviously, left over. Don't really need to upgrade our Graug right now, so maybe I should get that. I mean, I'd love to get this instead, but I think this right now could be quite a lifesaver. So let's try and see what happens with that. Now, what I've been, what I've been attempting to do is actually just do this. This is a, uh, what is it now, community, this week's, yeah, yeah, it, it's it's a weekly community challenge. I've not really paid attention to any of these, admittedly, but basically what you can do is a variety of different objectives. This week's objective, for me at least, I don't know whether it's unique or whether it's, uh, yeah, I, I think it is probably quite social because, you know, community, challenge, etc. Anyway, point is, I need to fear or instill fear in 100 enemy troops and I think I have about 60 so far so maybe we'll be able to get a chest for that so you can actually get loot boxes pretty easily just by doing things without even spending any of the gold I mean I haven't spent any gold so far and I seem to have accrued quite a few chests anyway as you can see here, we're at another Keller Brimbor activity. I have not been picking up any collectibles. I did pick up the last Shelob collectible because it literally took me about 20 minutes to find it because it was underground. And finding these underground passages is actually quite difficult. Anyway, point is, Keller Brimbor respected the hunting instinct of Karagors, even as he made them his prey. Relive his greatest hunt in Mordor by killing Karagors with arrows. Kuru, as my army fought its way across Mordor, I sensed my instincts for battle sharpening. Find arrows. Really? Oh, okay. Find a Avoid being hit by enemy attacks. Ooh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, so defeat Karagors with arrows. This should be pretty difficult, maybe. I mean... He has, I mean, we have a pretty decent amount of arrows to shoot at. So, I mean, to shoot with, should we say. So, I should be fine. And not taking any damage from Karagors, I think that might be pretty easy. So, let's just hope, shall we? I mean, look at it. I don't even have a time limit. I think if I had a time limit, this would actually be really difficult. But I don't, so I think I'm going to be absolutely fine. Let's just go up here. There we go. And shoot that one. There we are, and that one's going to come up here, yep. And there you go, that's it. That was the easiest Celebrimbor activity that we have ever done. And I'm actually kind of surprised that it was that easy. Very strange. Here in Mordor, the cunning thrive and the dull perish. Or they become slaves for as long as the cunning find them useful. Uh, more words of... I, I don't know whether you can call it wisdom. 
Yes, who knows. Anyway, we have another skill point. Yes, isn't that amazing? All right, so what am I going to do here? Now, I, I would like to get Prospector eventually. That just, to me, says everything because I'd love to have all highest quality gems, but that's going to take a bit of time, I suppose. Uh, what else do I want to get here? I mean, I that's the thing. I can't get the Drake yet because I need to complete the Kanon quests. And I want... I, I don't really care about might. I think getting more execution, getting more health for the Graug is a really, really good idea. So I think we're probably going to do that. Is there anything else here that I really want to get? No, doesn't seem like it. So let's go and get some more health for the little Graugi. For the Graugi. Yes, I do appreciate the Graug a lot, actually. I think the Graug is actually my favorite mount. Because Drakes, in my opinion, I find them kind of annoying to use. And, well, the... The Karagors are maybe just a little bit too weak for my liking, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, what we're going to do is clear out this outpost. Oh, yes. Draw out the outpost leader. And what we're going to try and do with this outpost leader, we are going to try and dominate him and then hopefully, you know, make him some sort of spy or whatever the case may be. But yes, hopefully something along those lines. And who knows, maybe we'll actually get something cool out of it. Okay, let's just continue. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's a lovely, lovely shadow strike. I mean, the things that I do in this game usually are just because they feel really satisfying to do, obviously. I mean, this is the kind of game that you really kind of like the combat system. Yeah, I know the combat system is not exactly, shall we say, intricate. And it does use the familiar, shall we say, format of Assassin's Creed slash Batman Arkham Asylum City and so on and so forth, the Batman games. And I know it does use that. And that's all very well and good. I, I don't really mind that it uses that because I feel like it suits the game quite well. And, you know, don't get me wrong, the combat can get repetitive, but I have not found that. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I'm not, not particularly one to shy away from grindy games or anything like that, so I don't really mind that sort of feature, you know. I'm, I'm perfectly happy to run around and, and kill orcs and uruks and all that sort of thing. However, I can, really. I mean, I find that quite quite fun. So I don't really mind about the combat system in general. I feel like it's actually quite a fun combat system. But, you know, other people might not feel the same way. They might feel like it's kind of lazy. They might feel like, you know, it's not, not really suitable or whatever. Maybe it's supposed to be turn-based combat. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just kidding, but yeah, anyway, point is, I feel like the combat system is actually quite enjoyable. Maybe it is a bit repetitive at times, but I don't know, you just have so many tools. You know, you have so many tools to do with the world what you like, and it really doesn't matter either way. You know, you can just run around and have a good old fun time, and you can decide to do whatever you like. I mean, right, right now, I could just use another Elven Light, and then hopefully kill the Ologs as a result. That would be kind of nice. So let's just get out of here, shall we? I don't really want to stay here for too much longer because these guys are going to eventually get me. And I would very much appreciate it if I could perform another brutalized kill, if at all possible. I think that would be quite cool so that I could get the side objective done. Oh, there we go. Can I not brutalize this guy? Are you serious? Look at this. This guy doesn't even know I'm next to him. He's a <laughs> this guy's actually shooting the guy next to me. That's hilarious. Oh, well, there you go. Yes, it seems like I'm going to have to just kill him. All right, so let's... Ah, there we go. Brutalize. This is also going to get me a good amount of community... You know, the community fearing mechanic thing. So that's pretty nice. I like that quite a bit. Now, here's the thing. I'd love to have blown up that barrel. Can I blow up that barrel, please? There we go, yes. When I find the maggot who's killing my orcs, he's going to wish they were still alive and ripping his limbs off one by one. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yes, I very much appreciate you saying those very mean things to me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't really mind. All right, so let's do this. Let's just, you know, brutalize it a little bit more. And by the way, brutalize actually does count as a stealth attack, meaning I can get full HP back whenever I kill someone with it, which is really, really awesome. Anyway, 
Oh, look, he's talking about a spy. Well, you're going to become a spy very, very soon. He is a fiery weapon user, which I suppose is quite interesting. He's frostproof. Oh, my. That is not very good. Well, that's okay. As long as he... Oh, my, yes. As long as he doesn't really get any benefit from that, I don't really mind. Let's do a nice execution on him. There we are. His Ologs are... Oh, this is... Oh, are you serious? Can you, can you just leave me alone? Thank you. I'm trying to kill your captain. <laughs> maybe I should have... You know, maybe I should have just gotten my Graug and literally just gone to town on these guys. Should I just summon him? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, no, I don't really want to do that. You see, what I was going to say was, should I get my bodyguard to come in here. That's the thing. If I get my bodyguard to come in here, he's probably just going to kill the guy, and then we won't be able to actually, you know, recruit him, which is pretty bad. There we go. A little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. Nice shadow kill. Maybe? No? No, apparently not. Apparently we're not allowed to do that. He's fireproof as well. Of course he is. Well, he is fiery, after all. He's going to get Vault Breaker very soon, so he's going to adapt to that. So I'm hopeful that I'll just be able to deal enough damage to get him down to broken level HP. I think he is broken level HP right now, but he is enraged. So obviously that's going to make a big, big difference about how much damage he's able to do. And I do need to make sure that we don't get absolutely murdered by him in the meantime. Have you noticed how the music is actually playing dependent on what he's doing? That's pretty cool. There you go. We got him. All right, so let's recruit him. And he's level 28. We are actually really high level now, which is pretty cool. That's obviously thanks to the experience boost. And I'm actually unsure whether I still have the experience boost, by the way, because it looks like it's disappeared but it seems like most of the story missions are still giving me a huge amount of experience. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking something different. I don't know, it's a bit weird. Anyway, I'm going to be infiltrating this war chief. He's going to go and fight in the pits. And we're going to go and see that in just a second. Okay, so the guy, oh, okay, so the war chief is actually a scorcher, fiery scorcher. So yeah, there you go. So there's 6,700. I don't know whether that's double the experience than we would have gotten before. That's the thing, I actually don't know, because if you take a look over here, this is the next story mission. This is 13,600 XP. Is that a base value, or is that the value that I would get with the XP boost? I actually don't know. I don't want to use my other XP boost, because I don't have a lot of time to play at the moment. So, unfortunately, that means that maybe the first experience boost went to waste. I suppose it wasn't really a waste, because we did get... A pretty decent amount of experience in the meantime. So, yeah, anyway. We can go and head on to Ushak, the murderers. And hopefully we'll see him in a rather nice, you know, rather nice um, pit fight. And he'll maybe do a good job. And there you have it. Rule through fear has been completed. And that means that I will be able to... Um, what is it now? Yes, uh, open a chest. Yes, yeah, that's it. Fantastic. I thought to myself, oh yes, how do I get in here? I, and it, it took my concentration away. That's hilarious. Yeah, because in general, if you fall down here, you're screwed. Because then you have to go all the way around, and it's all very annoying. But hopefully, Ushak will be able to achieve victory. Time for a clinic on combat. Keep these gobs coming. Oh, I have a feeling that Ushak is going to be fine. Because Ushak is immune to many, many things, and he's a trickster, and he has fiery weapons. As you can see, this guy isn't immune to fire, so he's already taken huge amounts of damage. And now Ushak is enraged. So, yes, goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Wow, that was extremely fast. Isn't that the fastest fight we've ever had? With the exception of maybe Nakra. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure about that. But now he's gained a level, and he's now level 30. So that's a bit worrying, because that means that he has an increased chance of betrayal. As far as I'm aware, at least. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here, and we're going to try and do that challenge. 
and then we are gonna go and get ourselves another captain which is over here Crosh we're eventually finally going to get Crosh all right, so uh, considering we completed the community challenge and I am now at the location that I need to be for the next stage of our Celebrimbor activities as well as collecting a collectible. Uh, collecting a collectible, how redundant. Anyway, point is, let's open this up and see what we get. I am thinking we're probably going to get some pretty cool guys because Terra usually indicates that they are pretty decent fighters. All right, so have a look. What's this? Grants a follow, a fo follow? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so grants a follow. Mm hmm, yes. A warrior gang. Okay, that's pretty good. And a potion that boosts your spoils of war gain by 100% for two hours. I guess that's pretty decent if you're just focusing on online conquest and things like that. But I, obviously, I'm not really doing that much. Anyway, Rug the Sweet. How sweet is he? I suppose we're going to find out. He's terrified of curse. He's also terrified of ghouls. He is vulnerable to stealth and beasts and he also becomes dazed when shot in the head and he has a fear of poison he is immune to execution however he doesn't seem very powerful unfortunately but ooh, epic quick shot that's pretty good that's pretty good if he can stay out of the line of fire then i think he'll be really really powerful this guy is also really powerful as you can see he's a legendary he is vulnerable to stealth he has a fear of execution and he becomes temporarily dazed when his pet or gang is killed so don't give him a gang he probably has a gang already. He's immune to curses and poison, and he is also enraged by more guy flies. He has an epic trait of curse warder and poison master. And increases poison damage dealt by himself and his allies. He has a poison weapon, and he has a gang of hunters. Pretty decent, actually. Comes with some pretty decent stuff. And then this guy, he is mortal. Oh my. Mm, that's probably not very good. He's mortally flammable. Fire is everywhere when fighting so he's probably gonna be yes dying pretty easily unfortunately but there you go so we opened that chest up that's pretty nice and I did take a look at my inventory but nothing's really going on now what I've been doing actually is I charmed a growl because you could see hello growgy you're doing a good job kill him yes there we go all right so yeah it was actually kind of cute because the growg was sitting down over there just being like okay so i'm waiting for you you know sort of thing anyway <laughs> we're gonna go over here collect this little gondorian artifact thing and uh, then we're going to go over to the Celebrimbor activity minisethal is on gondor's frontier so we have few occasions for the grand balls and masquerades that are surely common events in the capital city. Fine dresses like this one are worn for ceremony. Funerals and weddings, mostly. Not for lordly entertainment. I wonder if the noble families of Minas Tirith spared a thought for us, holding all of Mordor at bay while they danced. Whoa, that's morbid, isn't it? Another fine garment thoughtlessly cast away. Who in Mordor would wear such a thing in days like these? Well, that's true. I mean, I don't think there's going to be anyone really wearing that, but I guess the people in Minas Tirith probably will. <laughs> uh, yeah. A keen strategist, Celebrimbor knew he'd have to bring every technique to bear on his invasion of Mordor. Remember how stealth was key to his plans? By killing Olagai from the shadows. Ah, so don't get detected and kill them in under 10 Unless seconds. Discernment. When I labored with the bringer of gifts to forge the rings of power, even Galadriel did not discern how the rings would reshape the world. Yes, exactly. Kill all targeted enemies without defeating other orcs. Right. Okay, let's do it. Stealth kill. There we go. Easy enough. Now, there isn't a time limit. And that's obviously going to be very useful for me. Because usually, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty terrible when it comes to time limits. So, let's see if I can do something here. There we go. Avoid detection. Failed. Obviously. But, if I can stealth kill these guys, then it's not really a big deal. Ah, oh, Really? Okay. Seems like I'm gonna... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Avoiding detection. Harder than it looks, I guess. Harder than it looks. Alright. So, let's just go over here. I really want that skill point. Knock him down! 
That's not going to do anything. Because he's already aware of where I am. Fantastic. Okay, so it seems like I'm going to have to do... No! Ah, really? I fell off the... <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Okay. So, what we're going to try and do is... I am going to try and complete these two objectives. I think I might have to just restart, to be honest. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do it now. I think avoiding detection is probably... Yeah, okay. So, can I, can I restart this? Ah, there we go. Retry mission. Yes, thank you very much for putting an option like that in there. It's necessary. Very necessary. Okay, so I'm going to try and avoid detection this time. Instead of not killing other orcs. I think killing other orcs is a lot easier than avoiding detection, perhaps. Alright, so let's kill this guy first, just like we did before. Ouchie. And now let's try and kill this guy. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, you can kind of see where this is going. Kind of failed that as well. Yes. Alright, so it seems like we're going to have to do something a little bit different. Maybe we're going to have to go around in a sort of counterclockwise roaming thing. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do something like that. Alright, so let's see if I can actually make that happen. Okay, not... Uh, that did not work well. Alright, so I have one more Ola guy left after this one. And I haven't defeated any other orcs. So I should be able to do this. It's just a case of me running around and attempting to get behind them, basically. There you go. That's all I wanted. I just wanted the skill point. Thank you very much. Alright, there you go. So that's at least done. I mean, I, obviously if I want to 100% it, then I'll have to do it again. Mast his true nature, and neither the Lady of Light nor I could discern how the story would end. Hmm, yes, thank you. Oh well, anyway, we are gonna go and see if we can get Krosh. Yes, Krosh. I hear beasts rattling their cages. Follow the trail to Krosh. Let's do it. Oh, there he is. Is that him? That's him right there. Excellent. Okay, so what's the... Oh, he's immune to range. Great. Man, I've hunted ugly beasts, smelly beasts, and stupid beasts. But you, you're that rare mix of all three. Wow, what an amazing, amazing insult that he came up with there. That was pretty cool. Okay, so at least we've killed his mount early on. And now we can just deal some damage to him. Oh, no. I have a bad feeling about this defender guy. Oh, he's got Vault Breaker as well. Fantastic. Right, so... Is he immune to frost? I don't think he's immune to frost, so I should be able to deal with him that way. And I really wish there was a better way of controlling Talion sometimes, because sometimes he's just like, Oh yes, let me just vault over this guy over and over. Yeah, he does that. Yes, flames! Take the flames! I'm actually going to use Elven Light here, I think. Because that is going to poison him, and that's probably going to do more damage than an actual execution. So, sounds good to me. There we go. Just going to dodge away now. And there's a nice execution, and hopefully he's not going to enrage for any reason. And we've got him. He is the king of insults, so I'm, I'm pretty happy that we got him. There we go. Make spy. As you wish, bright lord. Yes, exactly. Very good. Okay, so now we have an additional spy. I'm almost level 31, so that's pretty decent. And I guess I should probably spec into something else, so... Hmm. 
Why isn't there anything here for Graugs, for example? So why, why, why can't I not mount a Graug without it being broken first? I think that would be cool, but apparently they want you to use Caragors a lot more often, which is kind of sad. Oh well. Never mind. Let's do Freeze Pin Causes Terror. Sounds like a good plan. All right, well, there you go. We have added to our army. Let's take a look at our army very quickly. All right, so, wow, we actually have a good amount of units. I think we could probably already launch a couple of betrayals. As you can see, there's one guy here that we might want to dominate so that we can backstab this war chief. There's three of our guys ready to backstab this guy and two ready to backstab that fellow. What about this one? None. We have none on this guy, so maybe we're going to have a bit of a problem. Anyway, we do have a couple of assault things here that we can go for, and I'm going to be doing that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.